Welcome back to Keep On Growing. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we've got a lot to talk about. I'm really excited. If you were excited about our last video where Karen from World Grace Project was making end caps for our downspouts, it gets even better. Basil. Now, if you recall that last video, I'll go ahead and link it up above here. It was called Game Changer was because we've been growing in our downspouts like this for years. And basically, we took a downspout, cut some holes in it, and we heated and bent the ends. Now, we pushed that up so that it would hold the liquid. So that worked great. I've got years of videos with these, all kinds of stuff that we've grown with it, and there's thousands of you out there doing the same thing. Now, uh, Karen came up with a cool idea with this because these aren't sealed on the ends, and if you pick it up and kind of tilt it, the nutrient solution comes sloshing out. And what she did was she made a cutout an end cap that would fit on the ends of these, right? So go check out that video. Like I said, it's linked up above. It's called the worldgraceproject.org and I'll have a link to that down below. But that solves some of the problems that we were having with just the nutrients sloshing out and it gives you a lot better looking design. So instead of having this right here where we have some waste space because we fold that up, right? So the nutrients just go to here. So from here to here is just that fold. So there's like three inches there and there's three inches here. So you basically wasted six inches on here where, come in here for close up. If you take a look at this, you'll notice that these have the same exact number of holes, the same spacing. The only difference is this one looks bigger than these two, but actually they hold the same exact amount of nutrient solution and they hold the same amount of plants, just like this. On both of these are wasted space. So that's why I love the end cap that this took care and saved us some space and it also stopped the water from sloshing out the end if you picked it up and moved it. See if we had a storm and I wanted to bring my plants inside if I picked these up and any of you that have this and you've done it you tilt it a little the nutrient solution comes sloshing out the end right. Now what I usually do is pick them up and I would just have a bucket and I'd dumped some of the nutrients out to where it's manageable, took it in the house and just filled it back up. A little extra step, you know, no big deal, but that's uh, how I did like our entire garden when we had a uh, Hurricane Irma coming through once. Now this actually takes care of that problem. Now you guys have gotten so excited about that that you have bombarded Karen and me with orders. Uh, we love it. Thank you very much, and, and it's just blowing my mind how many people are out there who are going to be growing like with this type of system. So, uh, just like you know, this mission is to you know teach people that everyone, almost anyone anywhere, can grow some of their own food. And every time you know somebody gets another one of these, we know that that's someone else somewhere that's growing their food, and, and they're going to show other people, and more and more people are growing growing some of their own food and taking care of themselves, and, and that's just really really great. Now this is very cool. It's going to be in our next video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Now with the things that are going on in the world and some of the supplies are getting kind of short and taking a while longer to get there, Karen was having a problem getting the quarter inch PVC that she made her end caps out of. So she's going to have some coming in. You guys can go over to the World Grace Org and order some of those, but they're on back order, so just know that it's going to take a couple of weeks before she gets more supplies in and they get back at it. But, you know, don't worry because they're going to be making plenty more of these. And there's already a lot of you who have already ordered and, and you're going to be making some of your own downspouts in that too. So that's fantastic. Now me, I was ordering these from Karen too and you guys bombarded me with orders. So that, that was part of her problem. Not only did all of you order from her, I was ordering a massive amount of them from her too. So um, when people order from me, and Etsy, I don't like to keep people waiting too long, so I had to go and try and find something that I could do and see if I could find some quarter inch PVC around where I live. And when I did that, I figured, well, you know, I have to kind of design this myself. Why not try to address some of the other concerns that I had over the past couple of years using this type of system? Because they said, teachy. That's our little dog. Because they say that uh, 
necessity is the mother of invention, right? So I figure as long as I'm doing that, this addressed the problem of it saves space, it's a sleeker design, and it stops the water from sloshing out the ends. And I was trying to think, what else have I been dealing with over the years? And one thing was, when I set this on top of my table outside, my table's made out of stone. And I have a stone table outside, and it's dark. And it would just absorb the heat. It would get really hot. If we sat down to eat and you laid your arms on it, your arms would feel like they were going to blister. It got so hot. I actually took a thermometer and laid it down there during the summer. And I think it went up to about 130 degrees. So it's really hot. And you guys know that if you set your plants on top of it, those warmed up too. So if this thing was in the direct sun during the midday, it just absorbed the heat from that stone. And I thought maybe if we could lift it up off of there a little, what I was doing was taking little bits of scrap wood or mulch or shims and, and lifting them up off of the table so that there'd be a little bit of airflow. So I figured if we were gonna make an end cap, could we go ahead and make it a little bigger? You guys can see the difference right here. I'll bring you in for close up. We'll do a little close up shot right here. What I did was I made the edges a little bigger so that when this sat on the table, now you have a little bit of airflow right there. If you guys can see, it's not sitting directly on the table. So, of course, if it's like an oven, you know, it's going to get hot in that. But without this whole thing in direct contact, it's going to take a lot longer for it to warm up coming up through just these legs and trying to warm up all of that water. So that got me tickled. And it's uh, cold weather right now, so we're going to have to wait until it gets like really warm again to actually test it out. But I'm pretty sure... You know, I had lifted them up on shims and that before and it worked, so I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So this design, I started doing this. And some of you have ordered from my Etsy shop. The link is down in the description below. Some of you are getting these. Now, when I was looking at that too, I said, that looks cool. That's awesome. We took care of a whole lot of problems. You know, what else can we do? And I thought, well, you know, they're looking a little bigger, but they're looking a little skinny now on the ends. Um, on here, this looks fine, the one that Karen sells, because those are utilitarian. It's just, it serves a purpose. It plugs up the end, and it's nice and sleek, right? And I was looking at that, and I said, that's starting to look more like a planter box. You know, what else can we do with that? And what I did was, I went and found thicker material. We came up with that. Now, this is cool. This addresses our concerns. The water doesn't slosh out of the ends, right? It looks nice and sleek. It looks like a planter box. It's lifted up off of here so that you got airflow and it'll keep it a lot cooler during the summer. Another thing was when these sat directly on the surface, they've got ridges, water would collect in there. It could be moisture from uh, being cool overnight and then warming up during the day, or water could drip out of the end here and kind of collect in there and you would get a little bit of moisture problem condensation if you have it outside like this on a wood sooner or later it's going to start rotting out the wood or if you have it inside it could be a mildew problem now with this sitting up and you have airflow you don't get that water trapped underneath either so it takes care of another thing so i'm really stoked about that from today when you see this video our shop our etsy shop if you order from there you're going to be getting these we're going to start making these from uh, here on out and I love this because it's, it's stuff that's readily available that I can get hold of. It addresses several concerns that we've had, and it looks nice. This even has like a nice little wood grain on the end. It's just really cool. You guys are going to love this. So if you get that, it's in our Etsy shop down below. Like I said, the link and what you get is a kit, right? And it's just going to be your downspout with your holes drilled in it. You're going to get two of these for each downspout, then caps, and all you do is fill that up with silicon, put a generous amount of silicon, don't be stingy, right? Just fill up that trough with silicon, and all you got to do is just slide it on like that. That simple. And then take it, and we'll do another video how to do it, and just make sure you get a lot of silicon right around there, and leave it overnight, and you're all set. So you have that, your kit's going to come with those. It's going to come with a pair of those for each downspout. It comes with pool noodles. It comes with 
your um, nutrients, everything you need to get started. All you need are our plants to get started. So uh, we're really stoked about it. I'm excited about that. Thank you, everybody who's ordered some of them. You guys are making this channel possible and you're helping us to, to get more material, to experiment with things and come up with, with better ideas for all of you. So um, stick around for our next video. We're gonna be talking about this. I'm really excited about that too. Really simple to make. You guys are gonna love that. Make sure you're subscribed, like we said, so that you don't miss out. You know, check the little bell for notifications. But so many ideas and, and just so much that we can do. So these work indoors and outdoors. If you want to go ahead and practice now, get ready for spring. We're going to have a lot of different things coming up. We're going to have, you know, these right now are available in the Etsy shop. We're also going to make something that's modular, kind of like our ladder system that we had outside where we've got a wall full of kale or pak choy or lettuce or basil, whatever we've been growing. We're going to have it so that you guys can buy things like that or make them. We'll have plans how you can make them too. And you can do it modular where you can put one shelf or two shelves or three or four or five or six or, you know, however many you want and just hang them together. It's going to be fantastic. Like I said, I've got plenty of ideas. So there's a lot of cool things coming up. You guys, if you want to, I'll go ahead and just have these end caps, these thick ones, blocky ones, if you want. I'll put that on Etsy shop too if you want to order those. And if you don't like the little chunky, you know, planter look like that, Karen's going to have these, like I said, for her shop. Uh, she's on back order right now, but go ahead and, and check out World Grace Project and read what they're about. You know, it's a fantastic little project. This helps them out, you know, so if you want to help charity in that, these are out there. Um, we're going to have more. We're going to have another interview with her later on. So uh, just the beginning of, of this relationship and, and everybody, you know, all coming together and just learning how to grow some of your own food. It's a fantastic thing. You guys really appreciate it. It just does my heart good. Tichi, come here. Tichi, come here. Come here. This is my little garden helper. Tichi, say thank you. Tichi said thank you guys for sharing and thank you for helping us teach the world how to grow. Get out there, lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you all next time.